Okay, this is probably not going to be very long because we're hungry and we probably don't want to leave, but Morgan and I just walked out of Ready Player One and holy fuck, why was it so bad? Yeah, it's, it sucked too. It's, oh. uh, it's pretty bad. Like, I expected to enjoy this on like a purely superficial level. I don't think the book is good, the writing in it is bad, and like, I, I was just like, well, man, I mean, Spielberg is... Okay, uh, we got pulled off because Connor said stuff. Anyway, the book is bad. Surprise, the movie is too. It is so... Like, here, here's the thing I didn't expect to say. It was so boring. Ungodly. So boring. Unspeakably, horrendously boring. It had one good scene, one good idea, and that was The Shining. That was cool. I liked that. The entire, like, the entire first part of the movie with the narration is tedious and boring, and, and my it, god, it only gets worse! Exposition. I love exposition. Whenever something shows up in this movie, without fail, there's either somebody going, fucking, oh hey look, it's the Iron Giant, or oh hey look, it's fucking whatever, and they're like, oh hey, let me talk about what this thing is and explain what it is to people who know, like, oh my god, this script is so bad. Like, the effects are fine sometimes. Um, I mean, they look like a third-rate CG cutscene. Yeah, yeah, they really... Uh, and it's all really gray they look for like, some fucking dumbass reason. I, I figured they would do like a... Like, they, make it Tron Legacy, they, bro. Just make they, it pretty. They didn't even do the thing where they did the separation of the real world and the game world. Like, some places in the game world just have different lighting, but the movie always looks the same. It looks boring. Yeah, it's like, for, you know, Spielberg to be such a great director, it was stunningly not well directed. Yeah, I know, it was so, like, ugly and sad looking and, like, and just flat. And flat. And just, and the characters, what oh, characters? They okay. didn't exist. It was just, like, a bunch it, of little it, shits. I'll give it this. What, what's her face with the birthmark on her face? I like her. Yeah, I'm, why was the movie not about her? Yeah, I don't know. She wasn't particularly well-rounded, but, you know... She was at least the closest she, somebody yeah. came to having an attempt at characterization. The main kid got yeah. nothing. And, uh, Mark Rylance is great. Yeah, Mark Rylance is pretty great whenever he shows up as the uh, Asperger's guy, and that's about as, it. Uh, Sheldon Cooper. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's just unfathomable how much I just did not enjoy any of this. It, it is... It, like this, like Morgan and I said, this is the first time that the two of us are actually being negative in a car review. Like we've we've been fairly positive, surprisingly enough, just because most of what we see in theaters we end up liking because we give a shit. Shit, he said but, to go to Walmart, didn't he? Uh, no, he said we were gonna meet. At, or I thought that he, he meant meet at Walmart after. I don't, I don't know. I'm eating here. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> Like, that was the only thing I could focus on. I was so hungry throughout yeah, the whole movie. Yeah. I just wanted to leave so I, I could just, eat. I just felt like Dan in the, at the beginning of Guild Grumps. She's like, <laughs> I could I could go for a sandwich. It, it, it was... I feel tired and hungry. For a movie, this it's got, like, so much, like, going on in the third act, and it was so long, and I just was waiting. And all of the cringe-ass lines of, like, this is clearly written and directed by somebody who has never even met a millennial, let alone, like, it's got, like, all of those stereotypes. It's, it's fucking... I, I am shocked this isn't getting, like, horribly critically panned. Like, I, I am, yeah, I am genuinely shocked. That was as bad as most, like, DC movies. It reminded me primarily of Suicide Squad. It did. Like, all of the references and the needle drops and the fucking nothing story and nothing characters, it was just like that. The only reason that I would say that, like, it's definitely paced worse than Suicide Squad was. I wouldn't call I it a would, worse movie I overall. I wouldn't say that just because the editing is better. Yes, but the pacing is certainly worse. Just overall. Well, I think the editing massively affects the pace of Suicide Squad. True. I mean, I, I guess... <sighs> Nobody's here, so I'm going to Walmart. Oh, okay. Um... I, I have, I've got, I mean, there's just nothing to say because the movie is just so air, like, it, it's air. It's nothing. It is... Like, like textbook vapid. I forgot 
ev oh god and can we talk about how tj miller was the worst thing every time he showed up i was like oh god right. please stop so it's amazing how much i can like you in deadpool and how much i can hate you in this Ugh. basically are doing the same thing Just everything in this movie is useless it's nothing i would have rather watched a wrinkle in time because apparently that's an interesting disaster god yeah and like all of us all of our friends we were just sitting there waiting for this to be over alex read the book and really liked it and even he was not having a good time. no god <laughs> it like I, again I, I i got nothing i am i am so pissed at warner brothers apparently my most recent full metal alchemist upload did not uh, go. So, if you're wondering why you're probably seeing this video before that one, <laughs> that's why. And also, they made the movie we just saw. Fuck Warner Brothers. Good fucking night. Jesus H. Christ. Ah.